Welcome to the ins and outs of probate for genealogists. This segment is called Understanding the Language of a Will. This is part of an ongoing series of nine videos concerning probate. All of these videos will be available on the Brigham Young University Family History YouTube, Family History Library YouTube channel. The language of a will is very conservative. If you were to read a will today, you would see language that was similar to a will written in the 1700s. It is not impossible that you would find the same phrases, and it is probable that you would see the same structure. No matter how difficult the handwriting may appear to be, most of the wills have a standard format and you can almost always look for the same words and phrases in an old will as you will find in a brand new will. The law in the United States is based on a principle called stare decisis. This comes from the English common law. The term means let the law stand, and that means that the courts rely on prior court decisions to determine how to apply the law in the current case. When I refer to the court, I usually am referring to the judge. So the judge in the case will make a decision, a decision based on prior law. Using prior case law assures that everyone, that everyone that the law will be applied consistently. The process of, of uh, representing a client in court uh, involves informing the court about how previous cases you know, that are similar have been decided. So an attorney will write what is called a brief or a memorandum to the court arguing uh, that the court should decide their clients or his or her clients um, case consistent with cases that are cited. However, it's clear that there's uh, usually someone on the opposite side who is making a different and exactly opposite argument. So the court has to sort out which of the cases apply to this particular mat to the particular matter before the court. It's a little bit different in the probate court action with uh, concerning a will. Uh, there is not always someone on the opposite side. Most of the probate cases are unopposed. But there are many times when probate cases involve disagreements among the heirs or even uh, issues raised by third parties such as creditors. In these cases the court uh, treats the will contest matter or the probate matter uh, just as they would any other lawsuit and the lawyers need to cite case authority. Unfortunately the, the law doesn't exactly work all the same ways all the time. And so it's as applied, it changes. The problem, I guess you call it the break or the uh, constraint on the law changing too rapidly is that changes in the wording of a will can result in changes as, the way, as to the way as the law is applied to the will. So the courts have to decide if the new, what the new language means and how it relates to previous rulings and how it will affect the law in the future. Of course, wills use language that may be unfamiliar. These are not the words you'd have on your grade school spelling test. You may have to work slowly at first to understand what's being said in the will. Very important to focus on each word. If you don't know the meaning of the word, look it up. You may need to use a reference book or an online source to decipher the terms and figure out who got what. One of the basic books is the uh, Black's Law Dictionary, which I mentioned in a previous segment of this video. You can see that online and do a search for Black's Law Dictionary. There's many websites, such as the Law Dictionary website cited here, where uh, that use Black's Law Dictionary to define legal terms. The another good source is the Internet Archive. That's archive.org, and they have a complete text of the sixth edition available for searching. Now, 
each of the will is broken, each will is broken down into some common provisions. The important thing to understand is that these particular provisions are necessary and required for a valid will. The first is a statement of the identity of the testator. The testator is the person making the will. Next is a statement of the testator's intent to make a will. This is called testamentary intent. And the, and the person making a will has to clearly state that they want to dispose of their property upon their demise or upon their death. Next is a statement setting forth the details of the family or the people who will inherit the property, usually called the heirs. Could be called heirs and assigns and a whole bunch of other words, but they basically boil down to the people who get the property. Next in line is the appointment of an executor or personal representative. This depends on the jurisdiction, the wording. Uh, if a person has a will, the person administering the will is called an executor. If there is no will, if it's intestate rather than a testate action, then the person is an administrator. In some jurisdictions in the United States, both uh, are referred to by the term personal representative. Here are some additional common provisions of a will. Uh, the will can contain directions to the executor or personal representative, uh, things that they would like to see happen, that the testator would like to see happen. You can also find a bequest, a devise, or a grant of the assets of the estate. Each of those words have a restricted uh, legal meaning. Uh, depending on the particular state, uh, they could be construed. But it's not unusual to see all three of them put together in the, in the form of I bequeath, devise, and grant, or something of that nature. There's also a possibility that the testator will put in some special provisions for uh, the devisees or those who are re re receiving specific bequests. These things usually deal with specific items of personal property. Any other instructions are also included, for example, care of minor children or the maintenance of a spouse. Last, it's necessary to have a signature and witnesses, usually two witnesses. Well, that's the end of this one. Thanks for watching. Uh, there will be a number of additional segments, up to nine, in this series, and we hope that you can follow all of them.